गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम हर्ष राजपूत एंड टूडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग वेबिनार ऑन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टेम्परेचर सेंसिंग यूजिंग फाइबर ऑप्टिक सेंसर्स फॉर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लाइट मे गिव यू ऑल अ क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट अर कंपनी सो बेसिकली टेम्सेंस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ पायरोटेक ग्रुप विच वॉज स्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स एंड द कंपनी विद थर्मो कपल्स एज इट्स फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट एंड देन इट हेज केम ए लॉन्ग वे टू बिकम अ लीडिंग कंपनी इन टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट एंड हीटिंग सोल्यूशन so there are six parts of tempsense instruments that is tempsense instrument unit 1 marathon heaters that manufactures heaters accurate sensing technologies uh, that makes pyrometers uh, accurate optoelectronics which are manufacturing uh, thermal imagers and we have two more manufacturing plant in tempsense uh, germany and pt tempsense indonesia okay so these are the key products that we offer uh tempsense is into uh, infrared pyrometers which can measure temperature between minus 50 degree to 3500 degree centigrade thermal imagers temperature calibrator we also manufacture thermocouple and nickel conductors like thermocouple alloys compensating alloys heating alloy etc fiber temperature sensors uh, fluorescence based fbg and dts out of which fbg and dts we will be discussing today then there is wireless temperature sensors and thermal profiling systems okay so what basically what is a fiber optic sensor fiber optic sensors are devices that use fiber optical fibers as the sensing element to measure the physical chemical and biological parameters and it works on the principle based on the modulation of light intensity light intensity phase or wavelength so there are basically three types of fiber optic sensors intensity based phase based and wavelength based sensor and fbg and dts are wavelength based sensors that we will be discussing today so these sensors utilize the phenomenon of wavelength shift due to external influences like temperature pressure or strain and fiber brick grating is an example of this type why to use fiber optic sensor for temperature measurements regardless of various types of sensors available in the market fiber optic sensors have their distinct properties and advantages over other sensors Uh, they can be employed in various space applications and hazardous environment like high voltage machines generators motors transformers switch gears and they can be installed in nuclear power plants chemical power plants etc they have a very high sensitivity which can detect sm small changes in the measured parameter and they have a immunity to emi this is the major plus point of fiber optic sensors since they operate using light signals they are not affected by electromagnetic interference uh and the last one is compact and lightweight fiber optic sensors can be compactly packaged and are lightweight compared to traditional sensors making them suitable for various applications so in distributed temperature sensors there are two types one is bragg sense and other is dt sense and we will discuss one by one uh starting with the fiber brick grating temperature sensors so basically a fiber brick grating is a quasi distributed optical sensor that is it consists of a fiber with with multiple sensing points separated at a predefined gratings are made by laterally exposing a core of single mode fiber to periodic pattern of intense uv laser light the exposure forms an increase in the refractive index of the fiber's core creating fixed index modulation so by forming a grating which will act like a sensor so the grating inside core of fiber shall reflect a particular wavelength of laser correlating to grating period and transmit all other and when period of grating expands or shrinks due to change in temperature strain change in reflective wavelength is observed so this is the braxens that we offer and these are the technical specification of the optical interrogator so there can be a maximum up to four number of channels and maximum number of fbgs that is sensors that is the sensors that can be formed on a single fiber are can be up to 20 so you can measure 20 into 4 uh, 80 sensing points and the length of grating is about 10 mm the temperature range is the temperature range depends on uh, the fbg fiber okay so it ranges from minus 40 degree centigrade to 650 degree centigrade and with a resolution of 0.1 degree centigrade and accuracy between plus minus 1 degree centigrade 
the sensor cable length can be up to 500 meter and the length of the lead in cable can be up to 1 kilometer <clears throat> the fiber we use in this is 9 by 125 micron sm fiber which is a standard single mode fiber and the fiber connector we provide is fcapc and the operating temperature of the interrogator is minus 20 to 65 degrees centigrade okay so and the communication interface is usb 2.0 or rj45 or rs485 mode bus so these are the two types of temperature sensors as you can see in the image the right one is a open sensor uh, it has a bare fiber and the fbg is marked on this and the second one is a more ruggedized version of this and multiple sensors can be connected in series to form a daisy chain applications of fiber break gratings so fiber break grating has a very huge application areas like power transmission and distribution hydropower plant monitoring petrol and ga gas exploration structural health monitoring tunnels and pipelines monitoring commercial transportation aerospace industries medical industries and in ev vehicles also we are looking for them so the advantages of fiber break rating uh, so the major advantage of this technology is its intrinsic multiplexing capability which means that multiple sensors can be connected to form a daisy chain suppose if we want to measure 20 different points so we can connect we can form 20 points on a single fiber cables or another way is we can connect 20 different sensors in line they have a loss low loss related to the fiber length so the loss is very low in this so we can get uh, larger lens they have a immunity to electromagnetic and radio frequency interference they are very small in size and very lightweight and they can be they are intrinsically safe for operations in hazardous environments and they are inert to chemicals and they have a very high sensitivity and long term reliability so if fiber sensors are handled properly they can they have they can have a lifespan of 15 10 to 15 years so the next one is tt sense distributed temperature sensor so like fbg was a quasi distributed sensor uh, in that there were multiple points on a single fiber but in distributed temperature sensor it is a linear heat detection system which detects temperature on every meter of the fiber optic cable and instead of installing countless number of conventional sensors, DTS system use a single strand of optical fiber. So in this, a single optical single strand of fiber can act as a sensor. Like we can have a 10 kilometer fiber and we can connect to the DTS and we can get a temperature reading of every one meter from starting. So it, the major application of this is in fire detection and continuous temperature profiling over long distances, which we will discuss in further. And it can monitor temperature for distances up to several kilometers. The maximum length we can measure from one system is 25 kilometers. So DTS works on two principles. One is the Raman effect for temperature detail and another one is OTDR for getting the position of the affected area so raman in raman effect an optical laser pulse propagating through the fiber gets scattered back to the transmitting end where it is analyzed and there occurs relay scattering and raman scattering and in raman signals there are two types stokes and anti stokes which indicates the temperature of that point and the distance is calculated using otdr or optical time domain reflectometry in which we calculate the time taken by the signal to reach the photo detector and by using distance time formula we can know the location of the signals so this is a general configuration of the detection system and in the image you can see this is the controller of the detection system and at the front is the lcd display that displays the ip and mac address of the dts unit the fiber ports are located at the back side of the controller along with the communication ports. Okay, so maximum we can uh, we provide up to four channels and the sensing length is up to 20 kilometers and we can go beyond it up to 25 kilometers. The fiber connectors are FCAPC and the spatial resolution that is uh, distance between two sensing points will be one meter. And the location accuracy is 0.5 meter that is uh, 
and temperature accuracy is between plus minus 2 degrees centigrade and with a resolution of 0 0.1 degrees centigrade. The sensing length depends on the fiber fiber cable that we which fiber cable we, we will use. According that, to that, it can measure between minus 40 degrees centigrade to 200 degrees centigrade. And the response time is 2 seconds per channel with a communication interface of uh, RJ45, RS2320 and RS485. And it works on the protocol TCP, IP and Modbus protocol. So these are the two cables that we use in uh, according to the application. The first one is used for fire, fire detection. Uh, it is a long term. Uh, okay, so first one is the fire a fire detection cable, which will work up to one twenty degrees centigrade. And the second one is heat resisting sensor cable, which can work up to two hundred degrees centigrade for a short term. And for longer term, we can use it for one fifty degrees centigrade. So these two cables are there for use with to be used with TTS system. So this is a software that comes with the DTS system. Uh, you can see, as you can see, this is the main screen of the software supplied with the DTS system. The software collects data continuously and display it on the screen. And as you can see, a live graph can be seen, which shows the cable length and temperature at different lengths of the cable. The blue line shows the temperature and length of the cable. Okay, so on the y-axis is the temperature and on the x-axis is the length of the cable. And the other capabilities of the software have a zone configuration, which allows to divide the whole cable into different zones. And event log is there in the bottom, which informs about any alarm trigger or changes made. An alarm can be set for each zone through the software. So we can divide the cable into different zones and we can we can set different trigger alarm for every zone where the cable suppose we installed a uh, that i will discuss in the next slide so this is like the zone configuration this is the example of zone configuration in the software after installing the cable at the site as shown in the red line so you can see a red line which is the fiber optic cable we can divide the whole cable into zones and assign different alarm for different zones so here the total length of the cable is 4200 meters that is 4.2 kilometer and we have divided it into five zones, zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five. And each will have a different trigger alarm at different temperatures. Suppose zone one ha will have a 50 degree centigrade, it will trigger the alarm. Zone two will have 80 degree and so on. So this is the major benefit of the DTS system. So the applications of DTS are fire detection and fire prevention. We can install them in power transmission lines for seeing the heating, oil and gas pipelines for leakages. This, this can also be used in conveyor belt monitoring. Oil and gas pipelines and conveyor belt monitoring is the major application of the DTS system. Oil leakage detection, plant temperature monitoring, freezer warehouse. And as we can see in the image, the temperature of the whole plant, including conveyor belts, both underground and overhead tunnels, machineries, power cables, uh, the whole plant, uh, the temperature of whole plant can be measured with a single DTS system or multiple DTS system. So conveyor belt monitoring. So this is an example case study of conveyor belt monitoring. What happens is for mass handling of coal, conveyor belts are used to transport so solid bulk for long distances. And the issue for mining companies is to detect any incident earlier to prevent any loss to assets or humans and take preventing action before the incident. Because instant fire can be there by any friction or heat transfer from the moving parts to inflammable coal carrying conveyor belts. So there are basically two major and fire prevention. Because uh, excessive temperatures can damage conveyor belts and associated equipment leading to costly repairs and downtime. And fire prevention is needed very much because the conveyor belt friction or malfunctioning components can generate heat and increasing the risk of fires. So one solution is that we install DTS. So it, it can be an effective method for monitoring conveyor belt temperature. With, uh, DTS system utilizes optical fiber to measure temperature along their length with high spatial resolution. So here's how DTS can be used in conveyor belt temperature monitoring. And DTS allows for continuous temperature monitoring yeah. along the entire length of the conveyor belt. So the whole length of the conveyor or whole conveyor belt can be monitored at real time.
then there is hotspot detection which uh, dts can identify hotspots along the conveyor belt caused by frictions mechanical problems or material buildup dts can provide an early warning system for potential conveyor belt failures okay and then optimization of operations so understanding temperature patterns along the conveyor belt can help optimize operational parameters such as belt speed material flow rate and conveyor alignment so this can improve efficiency efficiency reduce energy consumption and extend the lifespan of conveyor component so by installing dts system we not only can measure the temperature but also uh, we can get early warning system and optimization of the operations of the conveyor belts and this is the another example of uh, dts installation uh, so as you can see in the left image the blue and white are the power cables high power lines and uh, in uh, installed inside a cable tray going through a cable tray and we have installed dts cables to monitor the real time temperature of the cables so in case of any heating or short circuit or something we can get the location and temperature of that point uh, so this is a comparison between the brack sense and dt sense that we have discussed so in brack sense there can be up to 20 sensing points on a single fiber and it is a and the sensing points are in, uh, fabricated at a predefined locations. In DT sense, whole cable act as a sensor. So we can get a continuous profile over the whole length of the sensor. The temperature range in break sense is minus 40 degree to 650 degree centigrade. And in DT sense, it is minus 40 to 200 degree centigrade. And in break sense, we use single mode fiber. And in DT sense, we use multi mode fibers. Uh, thank you everyone for joining this webinar.